Yo, so who we got in the building? Yo, it's your man Spoken. I do what I do. I just do it a little different. You know what I mean? Shout out to Brand Fresh Blend Clothing. You already know 4 and 40 in there. So Spoken, man, you see the controversy going on in the city. How you feel about the list? Man, I always say hip hop is opinionated. In regards to the list, my opinion. Walk away, man from Belize. 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 E A T T Y situations. It's trash. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? They got a couple bodies on there that I feel actually put some, bring something to the table in regards to the culture, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I.e. Jeezy going ham. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even make the list. But I, you know, I heard the man shit, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's no dick ride, that's no nothing, you know what I'm saying? That nigga fire, cut and dry. You know, he do everything he need to do, markets himself accordingly, and puts out quality shit, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't knock the man for that, so how the fuck that ain't get on the list? But then you got people like Two Stone on the list, how the fuck he get on the list? That's when we make you think, you know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing but a homie list, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my dog made this list talking about some, yo, you, you that nigga, bro, keep grinding. Nah, son, stop coaching the bullshit. That's how I feel. Stop coaching the bullshit. Stop co-signing the bullshit. I dig. We all out here trying to get money, you feel me? We all want to get paid. We all want to progress. But at the same time, to what extent you trying to sell yourself short as far as, uh, you know what I'm saying, the culture go? You thinking about self to the point that you watering down the culture, bringing bullshit and promoting bullshit, and, and you you real and everybody don't know. A lot of people don't uh, pay attention to how influential you are in the culture. You know what I'm saying to the people that's not in the culture. They look up to the fact of you are the next wave, so to speak, of what hip hop is going to be. So you sitting there, you got that weight on your shoulder, you don't even know it, but you producing bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You got a song every. You know what I'm saying? I, now I'm not from Austin. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Jersey. I've been here about a year, year and a half, you know what I'm saying? Probably closing in on about two years. I don't really remember off top. Probably closing in on two, though. I ain't heard everybody that was on the list. So I had to go listen to a lot of them cats when I first heard it, you know what I'm saying? So I unfortunately had heard Two Stone prior due to some situation that came about, you know what I'm saying? That's how I came upon his music or whatnot. It ain't had shit to do because niggas was in the club turned up to it. And I'm listening to the shit, and I'm like... fuck is this? You know what I mean? Like, like, this shit was horrible. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could sit there and, you know, people quick to say, yo, why well, done sold this, this amount of, you know, records, uh, you know what I'm saying? Got this many plays on, uh, you know, SoundCloud. Nigga, I done been on tour with that. Nigga, all of that shit is irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what lets you know that you might not be a culture vulture, but you ain't as knowledgeable as you need to be on the game and, and the industry. Because you giving a fuck about ma the materialistics of the shit. You know what, what I'm saying? You talking about, yo, I got this amount of views. I just came off tour with whoever. But what the fuck did you do to the culture besides rob it of its, you know what I'm saying, its genuineness? What, what the fuck you do? Nothing. You trash. You ain't, you ain't spitting nothing worth hearing, nothing to take the time out. I don't even think create, create, creative thought process is even put into his shit, bro. We ain't even going to, yeah, right? we ain't, I'm not. Who was you think shouldn't have made the list? I'm a firm believer cats need to stay in their lane. Hey, how did you do that? Down. Skitty nigga, how you do that? Do that. Ay, how did you do that? Down. Tell me nigga, how you do that? Do that. Ay, how did you do that? Down. Skitty nigga, how you do that? Do that. Ay. Austin Martin is a hell of a producer. A hell, a hell of an entrepreneur, hustler, you name it. You know what I'm saying? He can, he can run across plenty of, plenty of platforms. And in regards to the rap game, I'm, I can't. Yeah, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he like the Diddy of the city, you know what I'm saying? Diddy, the example I use, Diddy always get on, you can get on J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, whoever, you know what I'm saying? As far as they shit, as soon as Diddy hop on it, fuck up the whole track. It don't matter what legend you got on the shit. I just feel like the nigga shouldn't be rapping, you know what I'm saying? Everything else, that nigga 100 grand, I salute his grind. But as far as the rap, you know, me being a lyricist and doing what I do, you know, I battle rap, I rap, I ghostwrite, all that shit. When you bring some subpar shit to the table that it seemed like you just trying to get a quick check, I can't respect that. You know what I'm saying? I can't respect it at all. That's just me. Who, who else? Uh, the nigga Tucker was on the list. I don't even know the nigga. Never met him a day in my life. I say, this shit legit though. You know what I'm saying? Seeing, I say, everybody gonna have a different message in their music. I understand that. When it's all said and done, we all done live different lives. So we bring, we talking about a different struggle, a different, a different come up, a different scheme, different everything. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to ask, are you talking about something? 
know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's a lot of cats out here that's, uh, I want to say twinsies type shit, you know what, what I'm saying? Mean? Sounding like they homeboys or they want to sound like they favorite artists, you know what I'm saying? Every one, two, three bars, they got a dab and ooh, and gang gang. You know, bro, yo, put your pen to work, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me hear something. Anything like you got, you even got trap music that actually got bars in it these days. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't tell me, oh nigga, this is trap rap. This is this, this is what we do. We dab and 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 flip money and you know what I'm saying? Niggas is hiding behind visuals these days. That's what I feel like. You know, shout out Rob G. Niggas the nicest nigga in the city behind the camera lens, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? With these videos, just because you went to Rob G and got your motherfucking shit done, don't mean you fire, son. Nah, that nigga is an artist in himself, in his field. He, he know how to make trash look pretty. That's, he, that's what he get paid to do, you know what I'm saying? He gonna make, all you is is pretty trash, my nigga. You not, you, you not nothing, you still trash. That's how I feel about it. Stop hiding behind dope visuals. Stop behind, oh, that, that beat hard. That beat, I just gotta get on the beat. No, you need to get the fuck off the beat, son, because you trash. You know what I'm saying? Stop hiding behind other shit and actually, you know what I'm saying? Br bring something to the table, that's all I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? If you gonna, if you gonna be in the game, Find out what works for you and actually put it to work. And when I say find out what works for you, I ain't talking about get in where you fit in and be, you know what I'm saying, weaseling through shit. Nah, man. We out here, you know what I'm saying, we, we, every generation that come about in regards to hip-hop sets the standard and the, I ain't going to say the standard, but sets the uh, grounds of what hip-hop will be viewed as, you know what I'm saying, for the upcoming years. I'm trying to keep hip-hop alive. That's all I'm saying, man. Man, you trying to keep it alive, man. Let us, let us hear some, some of that alive right there. All right, I got you, I got you. See, like I said, I do what I do. I just do it a little different than you used to. So I tell cats, you got to listen fast. Don't think too slow. I said, ain't no sunshine when the clouds out. You see that forecast be so bad. The best advice I can give is just stay in your house. Because see, it's a known drought of brain waves flowing. So we have a hard time dealing with life emergencies, right? Eric, nah, hold up. I said, it's a known drought of brain waves Flowing. So we have a hard time when being submerged at sea. You see, I see so many people worried about being fly these days, trying to get a buzz in life. But my preference, I'd rather you just let me be. Because see, if the day ever came that I blew, you know, raising the vision, you'll see the different views like DVDs and MP3. Right now, hold up. I said Blu-ray vision, different views like DVDs and MP3s. You see, pound for pound, I got the best punches, right? But yet I'm still ignorant with this wordplay like Mayweather. Please help me read. And yet I'm so spectacular. You see my vernacular? It helps me eat, but this ain't no EBT. And I admit, you can throw shade on the boy all you want. That don't mean the bar still ain't hot, son. You see how I ain't from here and they comparing me to the weather in this Texas heat? But let me ask you, though. You ever heard of the best of best to do it? I don't even know who it is. Whoever it may be, I salute them because I admit that ain't me. You see, I'm in a class of my own. I'm elite. I'm lyrically different and mentally gifted. And before somebody could tell me keep up, I started sprinting. You see, I would have changed lanes in the game, but I ain't feel like gear shifting. And yet the bars still never tend to come up short in my sentence like El Chapo's missing. So don't try to front and say that spoken ain't the one. Because I've been trapping out the bando way before Fetty Wap. Eric, now hold up. I said one eye trapping out the bando way before Fetty Wap. See, I got bars. But I told y'all I've been nice with it, though. Way before Kangos and Shell Toes, I was Jurassic with the flow like Welcome to Bedrock. I first learned to pick and roll and give and go. Because I was trying to reach my goals before my lungs dropped. And I admit I'm a little different with these bars. But you got to respect that op because I've been 2G. And that was way before Guwap first mixtape drop. Hey, man, any situations I want to know season two. If y'all going to come up here, y'all going to have to spit, man. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, hey, fuck all that. Go go pull up my thing on YouTube, son. Where, you, where your bars at, man? Whether y'all niggas is on beat or off beat, bring something to the table. You see, I put in work. As far as, far as this lyricism go, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. Everybody got their own lane, right? You know what I'm saying? You might be the dopest rapper, singer, vocalist, ghostwriter, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm a lyricist. Nigga, ain't a nigga in this motherfucking city nicer than me, lyrically. That's facts, cut and dry. So when Austin, Texas spoke, and you saying that you're the best lyric lyricist in, in Austin, Texas? I ain't seen different. I ain't seen different. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm sitting here, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I dibble dabble a little bit of everywhere. I fuck with the battle rap culture. Allegedly, I'm not the nicest in the city. This man over here, that man over here, they've been solidified, whatever. But ain't nobody in the city except for me undefeated. Arguably. Like I said, hip hop about opinion. Now, if you rooting for your man's because that's your man, you say he won, I dig, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to you don't want to let your man down like that. But arguably, man, the city will tell you straight, I'm undefeated. Just had a battle, uh, Pope Sinatra, about three weeks ago. 
I didn't even want the battle. You know, so I didn't feel like he was in the same tier, the bracket to be able to be on the platform with me. The gentleman insisted for the past two months. It was what it was. I finally caved in. You know what I'm saying? Shit, nigga, I just bought me a house. You want to throw me 500? Shit, I'll take that motherfucker. I got some bills to pay. Fuck you mean? So I, you know what I'm saying? Ran that nigga pocket. Six minutes. 500. Easy. 3-0. But I'm not the nicest in the city, though, right? I'm not the nicest. I, been, I ain't even, real talk, I started battle rapping probably about a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, Foolish Battlegrounds, Foolish Carlito. You know what I'm saying? That was the first, uh, first gentleman that even got me in the game with the battle rap. Because I ain't never thought of I always, you know what I'm saying, showed love and supported the shit. But I ain't never, you know what I'm saying, really fuck with it myself, personally. So, you know what I'm saying, he hit me up. I, we was at the uh, Hennessy Talk with Shy, uh, end of the year cypher. Uh, I went, yeah, it was just last year or whatnot. And so he heard me, he was like, this shit fire, you know what I'm saying, you should, uh, you know, I did what I do like I just did. He was like, yo, you battle rap. I'm like, nah, but I fuck with the culture. He was like, you should give it a try. So that's why I had my first little debut, so to speak, if you want to call it, last year at uh, South by Southwest. But, uh, you know, so I'm back this year, South by Southwest, you know, I will be on the Foolish Battleground card as well, but uh, I will be debuting on the uh, URL South by Southwest card as well, too. So I ain't the nicest in the game, I, I don't give a, but... Yeah, I'm undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, everybody got an opinion. So who you rock with in this city, Spoken? Mm. Now we say rock with, you talking about like I support the cat as far as with the, you know what I'm saying, they movement, they grind. I have to say I definitely fuck with the fan BC, you know what I'm saying? Shout out fan BC, Q Carter, 245 Knicks. That's my Jersey bro right there, you know what I'm saying? He battle rap too. Uh, undefeated as well, you know what I'm saying? Me... Me and this nigga, uh, you know what I'm saying, Nick's been in the city a little bit longer than me though, right? I've been out here, like I said, going on two years. Me and this nigga both been battle rapping for about a year, like as far as you want to say on the screen. We did shit off screen, whatever the case may be. But if you want to say reviewable resume, it's only been about a year. My, my bro undefeated too. Man, we ain't nice so. though. I wanna, the, the, the issue I think it is, I like on some G shit, I feel quick. like motherfuckers don't want to show the respect of the fact that just because we from out of town, my nigga, don't mean you can't show us love, son. We ain't out here pur purposely trying to knock niggas' heads off. But if you bringing, bringing this shit to the table and you feel confident enough to say, you, you know what I'm saying, you got me beat in, a, in whatever the case may be, then we're going to find out. And then, like I said, I ain't took an L yet. Lyrically, I am the nicest in the city. And it's been proven multiple times. I done got paid, took niggas' money, all of it, you name it, ran it across the board. Nigga, I am the nicest. You think otherwise, nigga, show me something. I want to I want I want to touch on this real quick. Spoken. You bodied Pope Sinatra, right? Big three o. Thirty. I watched the end of the footage. How did how did that energy in the room felt when he was when crying? he when he, he was crying? No, nah, son. Look at the videos, son. Dead ass. I don't know if you, it's uh they got, on YouTube they got to upload the three parts because the video so long it's like an hour long. You know what I'm saying? Part two is the actual battle rap in itself. During the battle, during the, let's say it like this. First, let's talk about the rounds. During the rounds, this nigga couldn't even keep himself together. Every round, this nigga forgot his bars. Every round. It's crazy. Every round. So, um, because right now, I got it all in my head right now. I've been sitting in this motherfucker for an hour waiting on you, man. And I went to sleep and I done forgot my shit. This is not making no excuse. Three rounds. Straight. Nigga forgot his shit. Couldn't even improv on the spot and freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Failed at that. In between the rounds, bro, you a grown ass, at least I thought you was a grown ass man. Look me in my eyes when you talking to me and when I'm talking to you, you know what I'm saying? Stand the fuck up. This nigga sitting there taking a knee on the ground. You know, so I freestyled on the nigga. He, uh, he was sitting there in his emotions and shit, being, being all in his feelings, and he took a knee. And I was like, nigga, watch how a leg shot, bow, make a nigga take a knee like Kaepernick. My flow, so bulimic. I throw up on any track because I'm just that sick, the Thule grip. The only way he ever catch me missing a shot, bow, as if the rim was bent. Bro, I, I'm improving on this nigga. Like, bro, if you can't do all that shit, why are you here wasting my time today, man? Why? End of the video, like I said, go to part three. This nigga gonna sit there, lose his composure completely, and was, I, I'm leaving dead ass. Just like, you know what? This is bullshit. Y'all said y'all was doing it for the culture. Y'all don't respect the game, man. I'm, I said, yo, son, you, and Cass is still on Facebook Live recording this nigga, and he can't even keep himself together, yo. I felt pissed off at the fact that I even had to be seen in a situation business-wise, of a nigga displaying himself like that, man. That shit was trash. And I, my motto, don't fuck up my footage. He fucked up my footage with that fucking emotional bullshit. Say that soap opera shit for when you get in the car, man. Cry on the way home. Don't do that shit in front of no other man. I ride your motherfucking back after that shit, son. Fuck out of here, bro. I ain't got nothing to talk 
I don't even talk about him. He don't even deserve recognition. Spoken, you got your clothing line, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In, in, in the mall. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? I do have my own brand, Fresh Blend Clothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, men and women apparel. Uh, ben, you know what I'm saying? I, I, real shit, when shit handed to me. I moved out here. I ain't know nobody. You know, granted, I got my apparel in another store in Panama City Beach, you know, Relief Skate Shop. But at the same time, I'm coming out here. I'm starting from scratch. I ain't asked nobody for nothing. I just hit the ground running, you know what I'm saying, grinding, no breaks type shit. Started off with the whole thing. I had the pulley suitcase. Man, that's amazing. Dead ass. I got the pictures on my Facebook. I had the pulley suitcase with all my clothes and the shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm walking around downtown trying to get cats, handing out business cards, get them on the brand. I'm chopping it up with a few shops, you know what I'm saying, trying to see what they're talking about. About a year later, let's just say, uh, you know what I'm saying, I was where I needed to be at the right time. No one knows who I need to know. Conversations took place. Ideas, you know what I'm saying, got put on the table. Boom. Progression got made. And then here we is today with uh, Fresh Blood Clothing that can be purchased at uh, Lake Line Mall in the Edge Clothing Store. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I grind in many different brackets. The brand is, everything's authentic, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Last but not least, last but not least, spoken what does walk away smiling mean to you? Man, mean being being yourself. Walk away smiling. A lot of people put the fake smile on the face or whatever. You need to smile from within, man. Let that joy out. Be happy. Love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you ain't never really walking away smiling because that's where everything starts, you know what I'm saying, with that peace of mind and everything. So that's what walk away smiling, man. And love yourself. Find your joy. Be great. Ow. I fuck around, slap the shit out of him just for the simple fact. It's not your job to listen to me. It's your job to write and make people listen to you.